What's good, guys? I go by the name is Cole Spins, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. So, guys, um, I've been getting a lot of suggestions, a lot of people commenting, and a lot of people telling me Card Nero has released the Chronicles 2 freestyle, Birds of the Same Feather. Get on this one, get on this one, get on this one, get on this one. I've been getting it all day, and I was fully aware of it. Um, but my major issue with uh, my reaction to um, the Chronicles Best of St. Freda Freestyle because Card Nero actually released it on only his official website, the, the real Card Nero.com. That was the only platform in which he released the, uh, the song on. But apparently, other YouTube pages and other people have decided to repost his song on their page, and which is actually not in compliance with YouTube policies. And it's really not, it's really, really not, um, it's not, it's not a good thing to do, except Card Nero has given them permission to, or except is using a different context. And me, I, I really wanted to react to the song from um, Card Nero's official website, therealcardnero.com. But the reason why I couldn't react to it from therealcardnero.com was because you can't replay it back. You can only stream it, pause and play. You can't actually go back. And sometimes you need to go back to get the clarity of words and just understand and get more insight to what the artist is saying. So because of that, I couldn't actually stream it live from uh, Card Nero's official website. By the way, if you want the song, please go to Card Nero's official website and stream it there, therealcardnero.com. Anyway, guys, without further ado, let's get on this one. Today, we'll be reacting to it. Now, Card Nero has not um, uploaded it yet on his official YouTube page on uh, on YouTube, <laughs> he has not played yet on his official YouTube page. But guys, without further ado, let's get on this one. Let's react to it from Sierra Leone Stand Up um, YouTube page. It's a new page, of, of, um, obviously. So it just has over one twenty seven subscribers. So it's a very new page. Anyway, guys, um, without further ado, let's get on this one. Let's react to it. Um, Carl Nero, the Chronicles Freestyle Birds of the Same Feather. All right, guys. Let's go. The best of the best, East Coast Springs. I know it's better than the rest. East Coast Springs, the rap and no one contest. East Coast Springs. Huh? The Chronicles. Huh? The Chronicles. Hey, yo. Fears in the meat. The toughest. I'm fixing all you poppies with all the sick accolades. I can't even brag getting them trophies. A mastermind, you catch this lion, copy for police when they pass the iron. Booty trash can never catch the lion. Better get to watch the First of all, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the re upload, but I feel like the instrumental is louder. It's almost as loud as the voices. So because of that, I'm not really um, hearing what Cardinal is saying. Even though I love his first lines, um, Let's go. Huh? The Chronicles. Huh? The Chronicles. Hey, yo. Fears in the meat. The sickest and the toughest. I'm fixing all you puppies. With the sickest and the toughest. I'm fixing all you puppies. I like the way it went there. You know? It's just like a boss way of coming into the... To start a verse, man. The boss we have started with us. Let's go. All the sick accolades. I can't even brag getting them trophies. A mastermind, you catch the slime. Copy for police when they pass the iron. Booty trash can never catch the lion. Better get to watch the line. Explosive like some milk. See, you score your cats. You can never catch the lion. So basically, it's the lion and their cats. I'm just trying to get it as much as possible. The beat is kind of like covering up for the sound, and I don't like it. Let's go. Trophies, a mastermind, you catch the slime, copy for police when they pass the iron. Booty trash can never catch the lion. Better get to watch the line. Explosive like Sudoku, provoke you at your vocal straps, rappers all around the place. For real, who else I can go to? Explosive like Sudoku, provoke you out your vocals, trash, trash rappers all over the place. Come on. Card Nero, speeding stuff there, man. This one, unlike the first one, is a very cautious song. This one is Card Nero just telling you who he is and how he is the king of the game. That's what Card Nero is doing here. So he's talking a shit on this one. He's talking a shit. Anyway, guys, let's continue. A mastermind, you catch this lion, cop for police when they pass the iron. Booty trash can never catch the lion. Better get to watch the line. Explosive like Sudoku, provoke you at your vocal straps, rappers all around the place. For real, who else I can go to? They act tough, 
When they haul up on them pro tools Local champion, kind of legend of the locals About to go <laughs> Local champion, champion, kind of legend of the locals <laughs> Basically, I've told you before that he's the voice of the streets And um, Kyle Nero is not just the legend of the locals, but I know that why he said that because basically they are the ones that recognize him, that the ones that he has really put in work for and he has really voiced for the voiceless, for the people around him. But that's why I said local champion, Kyle the legend of the locals. But also, also, Kyle Nero has actually voiced for many people that don't even know who Kyle Nero is because most of his conscious songs are not just um, secluded and just centered on Sierra Leone alone. He's centered on Africa alone. It's centered on Africa at large as a continent, rather. Anyway, guys, let's take it back a little bit. Let's just get this guy go. It's all around the place to blow. Who else I can go to? They act tough when they haul up on them pro tools. Local champion, kind of legend of the locals. About to go for sack. You hot, we told you that. Pop, pop, shot fire when I hold the Mac. Strip you butt naked. I bet you won't make it. My son is so. <laughs> Man. Calder came here as a battle rapper. Came here as a battle rapper because he's actually unloading and unloading on this. He said, um, Papa, when I hold the mark, um, of, um, strip you, strip you naked or something like that. Anyway, I'm taking it back a little bit. Let's go. About to go bizarre. You hot, we told you that. About to go bizarre. You hot, um, let's go. They act tough when they haul up on them pro tools. Local champion, kind of legend of the locals. About to go to sack. You hot, we told you that. Pa, pa, shots fired when I hold the Mac. Papa pa, shots fired when I hold the Mac. When he's on his guns, he's firing shells back, back. Strip you butt naked, I bet you won't make it. My son. Strip you butt naked, I bet you won't make it. Let's go. It's so sacred crown, I'm gonna check it. Was getting bored, need some beef to fist on. Be on rappers like this one, I'm quick to piss on. The same thing never stop this in another diss song. Count out the type of MC, you take a risk on. I killed the track, for real the rap, I bet they're feeling that. The 90 style head back, yo, I brought the feeling back. Man, Carl Nero is talking this shit. Okay, man, he's talking this shit. I love his cadence on this one, I love his delivery. He's going with the easy flow. Easy flow. Um, his lyrics are very, very um, this thing. His lyrics are very, very audible. Even though the beat is kind of over overlaying them, but you can actually, um, if you listen, you can actually get each word I'm saying. He's pronouncing his word very audibly, so you can get what he's saying. Just that the beats, for some reason, I feel the beat is is really loud. Like it's the beat is not balanced on the on the voice tune. I don't know if it's from the production. Or maybe because of the whole re-upload, re-upload from the site by people. So I don't know where the force is coming from. But the beat is almost as, almost, it's too loud, basically. The beat is kind of like overlaying the voice. But aside that, I'm still get, catching what Cardinary is saying because it's actually going slow and steady on this one. So you can actually get every word he's saying. And it's going here as the battle rapper, just talking his stuff, man. And just offloading it, offloading it, offloading it. Ga, ga, ga. Let's go, man. Of this song, count out the type for MC. You take a risk call. I killed the track for real around. I bet they're feeling that. The 90s style hair back, yo. I brought the feeling back. The flow was 90s kind of hip hop, you. I brought the feeling back. I kill all these rappers. I'm not, and Kyle is not the kind of guy you take a risk on. So basically, don't discount Nero if you are not ready for the gunshots, if you are not ready for the fire. If you don't want that smoke, don't discount Nero. Let's go. Fabulous, my mental is just devilish. Street boss, Bell Evangelist. Shout out to the Bible Street House in Los Angeles. <laughs> he said he's a street gospel evangelist. Let's go. New York, back and forth, living a sober life. This rap is a sober hype. Birds are the same feather, they're so alike, yeah. Living so mad like they missed the last very day. I don't play with kids for real. I'm not telling home cook food for now. I got Cow don't play with kids for real. I'm not Kelly. Because he's basically saying that he's not playing with all these BB rappers. He's not playing with his children. He is an OG in the game. He has been doing it from way back. So he's not playing with kids, yo. He's not Kelly because R. Kelly was basically a pedophile. He was basically arre arrested for his pedophilic attitude with little, little girls. And that what took him to prison. So basically, that's a double there. That's a punch. 
or Carl Nerys. So take that one. Carl don't play with kids, yo. I'm not Kelly. Let's go. Damn, Carl don't play with kids for real. I'm not Kelly. Home cooked food for now. I got a pop belly. Nada. This rapper cannot tell me. Say home home cooked food for real. I got a pot belly. Basically, he's eating all these rappers. He's eating all these people, and he has a pot belly. <laughs> Oh god, I'm, I love this flow. I love his flow. I love his cadence. I just wish the beat was actually um, it was a little bit down so I could really you know get it. Let's go. The last fairy day, I don't play with kids for real. I'm not Kelly. Home cooked food for now. I got a pop belly. Nada. This rapper cannot tell me. Captain of the ship, yeah. We're poor divers, a true liar. But still, I love tigers. They say no more distance. But this is bring subscribers. Call me a cloud chaser. Fuck out of the subscribers. Shut up. <sighs> Card Nero has addressed the reason why he has been dissing. He said they said no more dissing. But dissing bring subscribers. F all your call me clouds call me a cloud chaser. He doesn't care if you call him a cloud chaser because he knows that the attention that he wants to get, the attention that he needs to pass across, he can only pass it when he disses people because that's where they can get him. And he's telling you that this improves subscribers. So you can call him a cloud chaser, but he knows about the business. So you continue doing what he knows how to do and he's going to diss those people that he wants to diss. Anyway, guys, let's take it back a little bit. But here's the thing, my problem with the whole this thing. My problem is not with Card Nero doing it. My problem is with his fans overdoing the whole thing. He has to know that it's for the sports. He, his last um, live interview with um, Steve Busa, GS, he said it there. It's all for the sports, it's not personal. But almost every time in the comment section, there's always a cow fan on the Sakodi song or this thing are trying to discredit the other artists because Sakodi, because Cow this them. Come on, guys, don't take it too personal, man. It's just for the sports. He has said it here that this thing brings subscribers, call him a cloud chaser. So it's not personal from his end. So fans, you guys should learn not to take it too personal. Anyway, guys, let's continue, man. I'm enjoying Card Nero on this one. I don't know why for, for some reason today I just want to just be just be enjoying the flow and just talking my own shit as Cow is talking his own shit. Let's go. Kids for real, I'm not Kelly. Home cook food for now. I got a pop belly. Nada. This rapper cannot tell me Captain of the ship, yeah We're both divers A true liar But still, I love tigers They say no more distance But this is bring subscribers Call me a cloud chaser Fuck out of the subscribers Shout out to the riders I'm like a David I hardly made it Cow don't kiss no ass Just to be nominated it Doesn't kiss ass Just to be nominated Basically, it's telling you that sometimes the reason why you get, why people get those awards um, because they go and they try to just be yes men to all these people. And Carl said that he's a man of himself. He doesn't need to do all those extras to 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 um to get nominated. The truth is that Carl never deserves awards, man. I'm not lying to you. This guy deserves more recognition than he's getting. Ah, that was the truth. He deserves more recognition than he's getting because the kind of quality content that Carl never is putting out. And he's putting out very consistently. God, this guy deserves a words on the African stage. Anyway, guys, let's go. My cypher is to know no stripper type rappers. Give them a poll, let them dance to the go go. Yes, I'm testing from Clark. Your favorite rapper is my promo. Ah! He said that uh, stripper type of rap rappers, you give them a poll, let them dance to a pongo. What? I don't know if a pongo is a song or something like that. He said. Give them a pole, let them dance. Then he said that, um, yes, whatever you can call him, you can. But your favorite rapper is his promo. Basically, he's just telling you that, yes, when he disses them, he gets the attention and basically use them as promo. So you can call him whatever you want. Your favorite rapper is his promo. He said that. But you guys have to know that this is more of business than personal. You guys need to get that. It's more of business. It's more of strategy than personal. It's, all, it's fun for the fans to play along. But at the end of the day, the fans should not overdo it and make it seem so ah, as if the beef is one kind of heavy thing. Dude, let's go. Let them dance to the go go. Yes, I'm testing from Clark. Your favorite rapper is my promo. Let them dance to the go go. So when they climb the pole as stripper type of rappers, they dance to the go go. 
they say yes i'm chasing for clouds your favorite trap is my promo i've explained that let's go we talking to him papi and niggas this is a no show you're wondering who's next who gon kill can we land on the now i got a football field no matter for some reason right now i think the beat is now everything is now leveled the beginning it was looking as if the beat was too high for the voice but now everything seems to be very leveled anyway guys let's go how fast the rap the sound look one still since i'm on the ground but till the thunder now said how fast this rapper still sound lukewarm still let, let me take it back again. let me take it back a little bit let's just get on this who gon kill can we land on the now i got a football field no matter how fast the rap the sound look one still This is subliminal to Calligraph Jones and Sakobi. As usual, we know that MI doesn't do fast paced rapping, so I think for some reason Cardinal has left MI on the, um, he has left MI in the whole bullseye thing and he's just shooting on Calligraph and Sakobi. He said, no matter how fast this rapper sound, they still sound lukewarm still. Basically, he's saying that they can go fast paced and do their twisting and do their flipping. But to him, he's not going to be impressed because it's still like an average kind of bar, average kind of line for him. They still sound lukewarm still. Ah, let's go, man. Let's go. Since I'm on the ground, but till the thunder now. I'm grateful people, super young, we never get another cow. Hey, yo, they dig in my tracks. The same biggie is back. I give them goosebumps, a combination of biggie and black. I I'm taking it back in a little bit. Said that Sierra Leone never gets another cow they'll never get another man like cow said that he's giving them a combination of biggie and pack and that's true biggie was known for his um amazing rhyme schemes and um his delivery his cadence his style and which is the kind of style that uh cow there is using tupac was known for his conscious music tupac was one that sang changes that sang um um, dear Mama sang a lot of conscious music. So Card Nero is like a balance of both worlds because it still comes to that kind of big, big small rap style when it goes with the whole cadence, the the rhyme scheme, the the whole end rhyming scheme, the flow, and just that confidence and aura on the swag on the mic. But yet the pack version, the pack um, part of um, Card Nero is the part where he always talks something conscious, things that can change lives things that are happening right now so that you can relate to so card nero is saying the truth is a combination of both worlds biggie and back man let's go i eat good because i'm a leech for some big steak uh, this is called hip hop i don't beat just for big steak i will form pissing them off drop a mix set aha yeah cow the best at it i dare any one of these countries to bring their best artists and watch he said i um it doesn't just this for any reason. Now he's daring any country to bring their best artists. He's the best artist. Let's go. No need to bring the I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. None of these clowns can really fuck with me. Said that it's going to embarrass any country that brings their best artists, you know? And now he has he has switched up, he's now on the vocals. It's not holding some notes for us and just giving us that, you know, that conclusive part of the joint when you have actually called out all the smoke and you have actually just, um, you know, when you just brag so much that you're now sweating and you want to find yourself and just cool off. And that's what he's doing with the vocals. He's cooling off with the vocals. He has just talked his own shit, told you about his resume and told you about what he has done in the game and how far he has gone in the game. And what he feels like he can accomplish and just telling you everything that he feels about himself you know just that big boy swag and just that key cadence and confidence and actually his projects and his work can actually achieve um that's it can actually achieve his projects and his, and his work can actually speak for what he has achieved basically because card narrow man it's not easy for someone to put out so many albums put out so many songs on a very consistent basis and actually 80% of the tune is very related and conscious. Come on, no one does it like Kao. Let's go. Hold those notes for us, Kao. I'm a straight rider. None of this class can really fuck with me.
A different caliber, fire spitting with my saliva Defeating any challenger, I'm just a thug in the office Go screw yourself, save your awards and your trophy My niggas is the real dogs, y'all the puppies Fuck, word up Basically, he ended it by telling those ones that um, that feel like they are better than me because they have awards and because they have been nominated for so certain kind of um, awards um, stuff, so that you can you can go and die with your trophies, you can live with those trophies, but he is going to um, still hold it down with his goons, with his real dogs, and you still see them as puppies. But what Card Nero is saying there. And why I actually can agree with Card Nero to an extent because number one, the trophies awards don't mean shit. It's not like let me not let me not put it that way that it doesn't mean shit, but that's not a true test or that's not a true um factor to show that someone is actually dope or not, or someone's actually putting in work or not. These people that give awards give it based on what I feel like is market value. Like what the fans and what the people that have accepted the most commercially might not necessarily be the best songs, but what has been accepted commercially, and that's what they actually go by most of the awards that have been given, compared to the people that actually put in content and put in the actual true classic projects for people to enjoy. So sometimes the awards might not necessarily mean that that artist is actually the best person at that time, or that, or it, just like. When we say that exam is not the true test of knowledge, you can see sometimes the people that make the first class are not the ones that excel in real life. And it's not because um, the ones that carried last in school were dumb. It's just because that particular subject, the fact, the, you know how it was, you know how it is now. When the, that particular subject, the person might not just be good at it, or some circumstance might vary that the person didn't pass. So it's just the same level here, just the same stuff here happening here. So I actually agree with Card Nero to an extent. Guys, I'm sorry that this thing was really, really long. I don't know why for some reason I was very balanced on this track. I was I didn't want to rush it. I just wanted to talk based on what I felt like I could say. Anyway, guys, if you are new to my channel and you enjoyed this one, don't forget to hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Um guys, I'll see you in my next music video reaction. I'll go by the name of Space. Leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment. Bad, negative, positive, anything. Leave a feedback, guys. I enjoyed this one. I hope you guys did too. And guys, with that being said, my people, peace.